Hi, my name's Alan Dalgans. I'm the um, founder of the Library of Stuff. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about my bike. Um, so I have a bike. Um, it's very, a very good bike. I quite like it. Um, but I've um, recently been enjoying uh, the, all the new cycle paths that have been going in in Hull. And um, what I've decided is that to use it more, what I could do with is um, adding an electric conversion to it. So rather than buying an electric bike, which could cost quite a lot of money, um, I decided to buy a kit off eBay and um, have a go at installing it. So I'm going to go through all of that, um, why I, which kit I chose, why I chose that particular kit, and also how to um, fit it. I keep looking over there because that's where the bike is. Um, so um, I hope you can follow this and, um, and you may consider um, converting your bike. If you do, um, we have the tools in the library uh, to help you with that conversion. Um, so I'll go through the tools as well as um, uh, everything you need to, um, to do the conversion and why I chose a specific kit I did. Just a quick consideration on buying an electric bike conversion kit. Um, so the government, UK government have very specific rules about what is considered an electrically assisted pedal bicycle. Um, and these rules um, will allow you to use it on the public road. Um, so some of the things to consider is the motor can't be more than 250 watts. The motor must display the manufacturer or the wattage of the motor. Um, you can't use um, twist and go, um, so like a motorbike, it has to be pedal assist only. The maximum speed is 15.5 miles an hour and um, the battery has to show the voltage of the battery pack. Now these are some of the things that you need to consider when buying the motor, uh, the kit. And I would suggest you go on the government website to get the up-to-date um, information before you buy the kit to make sure that you, you are buying a kit that can be used on the public road. So we'll go on to um, deciding on a kit. Um, there's lots of kits out there. You can build your own kit. You can buy a kit that's complete um, and they all fit different bikes as well. So that's very um, important to consider. Now, I decided um, not to go for a hub motor. Um, I wanted torque sensing, um, which I'll explain a little bit about. Um, but basically, it means I had a mid-drive kit which fits on uh, where your pedals are. Um, so rather than in the in the wheels, um, the motor is actually um, where the pedals are. And what this does is um, it amplifies the amount of performance you put in. So the the more power you put in, the more power that the system will provide. Whereas the other um, hub uh, motors um, that are going the, in the wheel um, actually um, just add power based on, uh, on, on what it thinks you need um, and what power level you put it at. Um, so I decided I'd rather have that torque sensor. Um, and so I bought a, um, a mid kit um, which fits where the pedals are. So this is my bike, um, it's a Carrera Crossfire. I've had it for a number of years um, and recently I've been using it more um, due to the fact that um, Hull City Council have done a number of improvements to the safety of the cycle network in, in, in and around Hull. Um, so I got it off, got it out, dusted it off, cleaned it up and, and then put a seat on the back so I can take my son to school. Um, it saves me getting the car out every day um, and I think it'll make a big difference um, what I would like to do is add an electric motor. So that's the next stage. And um, so we're going to replace all of this gear, take this off. There's some stuff I need to do on the handlebars and we're going to add the electric bike conversion kit. So I'm just going to unbox these um, two boxes. This is what the kit came in, um, two boxes. And um, I've got an additional component here. I'll, I'll explain what that is. So um, first box, this is the motor kit so it comes with a tool this is a crank tool to actually install this motor kit um, what you get is two crank arms um, one of them slightly bent um, and i think that is uh, to give clearance um, from the motor um, so if you look it's got a slight crank in it so you could use these or you could use your originals if if you manage to get it on with with the motor in place uh, so there's some fixing screws a couple of tie wraps and then we've got the main motor so this replays 
um, your, your main crank. You can see it's only got one gear on it. You can decide on some of the kits which gear, how many tooth gear you choose from. Um, I just went with the standard. I'm not actually how many. I'm not actually sure how many that is. Um, but this is to replace your crank, and um, it, it replaces the whole assembly basically. And there you can see you need the, the special tool Oops. Um, for, for that particular section, which allows you to install it. So that's the main motor assembly. And you also get a pair of brake cables, uh, brake um, levers. Now these have got sensors on them that will cut the motor out if, if you brake. Um, we've got two of them. Now this is something that we can't add on if we're going to put it on the UK roads. So this is an optional component. Uh, it comes with this kit, um, but it's the accelerator. Now, um, UK law uh, prohibits the use of, of these uh, on um, electrically assisted pedal bikes. So if you are going to use it on the road, you can't install this component. And then we've got the, the main computer. So that's what's going to sit up front in between the handlebars. And a few cables um, for connecting it. That is a quick connect. Uh, I'll get this out actually. So uh, this connects to your handlebars and gives you um, some quick controls. Um, so you can put it near the uh, near near your your hand grip. And it allows you to quickly choose some of the options um, on the computer rather than having to take your arm off to, to press the buttons on the computer. And then this is the sensor that goes on the back wheel. Um, so it can sense the, um, the movement of the wheel. And that's it from that box. Now these components were bought as a kit, um, but they did come separately. Uh, so I've got one delivery um, of the battery pack and then the motor came separately. So there is a bag there, I think it's meant to go over the, the battery. Not sure if I'm going to use that or not. This is the main battery. So this is a 36, amp, a 36 volt, 15.6 amp um, battery pack and that goes where your water bottle assembly sits. Um, I have seen a few people having problems getting this on um, because the water bottle tends to be too low and then you can't clip this on. So some people have had to drill this bracket, but I'll, I'll see if I get into those, those kind of problems. And then this is the charger. Yay, UK plug. I wasn't expecting that. Um, so this is the charger for charging the battery. Now the batteries don't like to get particularly cold um, when you're charging them. Um, so I wouldn't suggest you take this off your bike when it's been stored out in the shed or whatever. If you do store it outside and then whack it on charge um, in the middle of winter. Um, so if you can bring the battery pack into the house, let it acclimatize uh, and then um, put it through, through a charge. And then there's the key, so you can um, lock the battery pack to the bike and unlock it when you need to. And there's a cable there for connecting the battery to the kit. And then there's some instructions for fitting the um, the battery. I'm hoping there's instructions for fitting the motor as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, here we go. There was also a guide in there uh, for fitting the motor. Just before we get on with the install, I forgot to mention uh, this particular kit. 
and this part. So this isn't part of this electrification kit, but it is a, a gear changer. Um, and what I realized was that if I'm going to install these brake levers, which have got the cutoff switches, uh, electrical cutoff switches for the motor, um, my current um, brake levers have got um, this attached to them. Um, so I needed to buy a separate one um, so I can remove um, my brake levers, attach a new ones, but still be able to change gear. Now, um, I only need one of these because the, um, the, the gear changer for the crank is going to be removed because you've got to remember that this only has one. Um, so you don't need a, um, the, the separate gears for the crank. Um, so yeah, um, it's important to do a survey and make sure you don't end up buying the kit and then and not able to install it because you need something as simple as this. Um, so that was £9 um, and I bought it as part of this conversion. So a quick look at the tools we're going to use that are available in the library if you do decide to do this conversion. Uh, this is uh, the bike stand, so this enables you to work on the bike while it's up at the right level so you're not bending over your bike all the time. Uh, I'm hoping this is going to help a lot with the, uh, the build. It's got a huge surface area, so it will suspend the bike quite well, safely. Um, I think the only time I'm probably not going to use this is when I'm removing the crank. I've seen a lot of people struggling with the crank removal, um, and so I might do that on, on the ground uh, and then put it on here to do the rest of the bike build. The other thing that's available that we bought for the library is a full bike kit. So this is all the tools, hopefully, we will need um, to do the bike conversion. Um, now, this was quite a cheap kit. Um, I'm hoping it's going to last for the foreseeable future, but I do worry about some of these, like the crank removal tool, um, uh, whether they're, they're, they're going to last for any length of time. Um, so only time will tell. Um, I'm hoping uh, eventually to buy um, more branded stuff um, for the library and um, that will last a long time um, but for the for the moment this is what the library can afford um, so hoping it, it works well so these will become available um, straight after um, I've done this bike conversion so you will be able to book and reserve this kit um, if you want to uh, have a go at doing the conversion yourself